So chapter eight, the big ideas that you need to know about is covalent bonds and then the idea that covalent bonds can either be shared equally, the electrons in the bond can be shared equally, or not equally, and that makes a big difference as far as the properties of that covalent compound, which is what we'll spend a lot of time on third try, looking at those properties. So number one says, know why or how covalent bonds form versus ionic bonds, what's happening with the electrons. So covalent bonds, the electrons are being shared. It may be equally shared, or it might be not so equal. But there's some sharing going on. They haven't been transferred. Whereas ionic bonds, electrons are transferred from one element to another element. You might remember, usually it's metals losing and nonmetals gain. Whereas up here, I won't say only, usually So if you remember from your uh, word statement mastery and your mixed mastery, that's how you tell if it's a covalent or an ionic bond. If it's just non-metals, they're going to be sharing electrons rather than transferring them. And if it's a metal and a non-metal, the electrons are going to be transferred and we're going to call it an ionic bond.